Hello and welcome to another episode at Holidays at OMC. Today we're going to look at candle making and right here I have one of our traditional candle setups. And today we are set up inside the museum just because it's rather blustery outside. So today we're gonna to look at why did people need candles? Well, candles were very important to provide light at night. If you, uh, it gets dark very early here at Oil Springs in the winter time, particularly in December, it's around four o'clock in the afternoon that it starts to get dark. And I don't particularly feel like going to bed. That's traditionally what you did. If it got dark at night, you would go to bed. Now here in Oil Springs, people did have the benefit of oil lamps and they could light their oil lamps. They also would have had some other tools available to them. They would have had different types of waxes and the wax that we're using today is paraffin wax and it is a byproduct of the oil industry and it can be refined out of the crude oil that was readily harvested here in Oil Springs in the 1840s and 50s. Now, before that, people would have made candles using a couple different ingredients. They would have used tallow, which is the rendered fat of an animal that was recently slaughtered, or they would have used beeswax. Now, beeswax has a lovely feel, and it has this beautiful golden color, and it smells just lovely. The problem is, is that beeswax was a little bit hard to come to, and it was only available to those that could physically afford to buy beeswax or had their own honey beehives, which were not readily available at that period of time. So people would often make tallow candles, or if you were from the Oil Springs area, you would have been fortunate enough to make paraffin wax candles. And that's what we're going to make today. So to make a candle, basically you need a hot pot, and in this box, I have a hot pot the bottom two-thirds is filled with hot water and the top is filled with liquid wax. So it comes in a solid block and the heat from the pot melts the wax. And we would have made candles out of cotton cord. So you can see here we just tied cotton cord, this is just a butcher's twine, to a stick to make our candles. And when you make a candle, basically we're going to use the dip method. So you just dip it in and pull it out and every dip is another layer of wax. So we just lower it in and pull it out. And this will make candles. Today we're making a very particular candle. We're making Christmas candles. So by Christmas candles, these are candles that we would have made. They're short little stubby candles, just like this one here. And these would have gone on a Christmas tree to light them at night. Now I want you to think for a minute. They used to put this little candle lit on a Christmas tree. Can you imagine what might have been some of the difficulties or problems that may have arised out of that? It happened very often that if you were not careful, you could set the tree on fire and burn your house down. For this reason, it was tradition in many areas, especially those of British descent, to harvest their tree and only put it up on Christmas Eve. They would cut down a fresh tree, bring it into the home, set it up and the parents would light the candles. The children would leave the room and they would be welcomed back into their beautifully lit tree. To ensure safety, there was always a large bucket of sand and water placed next to the tree to prevent any accidents. But these little alligator clips would have been used to place the candles on the tree. Earlier times before the invention of these clips, they would have just used liquid wax to hold the candle on the tree. So we're going to make some candles. You can see that we just have this here. So you dip it in, you let the wax get all over the cords, you'll pull it out. And I like to straighten the wicks. And then you dip it again. This was a bit of a labor intensive process, but it did provide nice candles for the family. And you would have done this in preparation for the holidays. Um, and there were many traditions around the world where candles play a significant role. In late October to early November, people in India would have participated in the tradition of Diwali, where this is very much a celebration of light um, and the victory of good over evil. Other traditions such as St. Lucia Day in Norway, Sweden and Finland, they would have celebrated um, 
with candles on the heads of young girls, and they would have been to chase away the darkness, and they would have served sweet treats. So there are many traditions throughout the world where candles play a significant role. So you may have had candles on your Christmas tree, you may have had candles lit outside, and throughout all of these different traditions, candles play a significant role. Now I showed you one way of making candles, and that is a hand dip method. Another way is you could have molded your candles. So we have this right here. This is known as a candle mold. You would have flipped it over. You would have taken all of your wicks. You would have placed them into the mold. Okay. And then you would have just taken a ladle of hot wax and poured it over the top. And that's how you would have made your candles to provide light at night. The other thing that's important to remember about candles, since they were often made out of animal fats or paraffin wax, is they were highly attractive to different animals. So often families would have stored their candles in a candle safe and the lady of the house would have doled them out. And this would have been an activity that you would have participated in in preparation for the winter and the holidays. So this is just a little bit of holidays and different celebrations and how to make a candle. If you're ever visiting the Oil Museum of Canada near winter, we do make candles on a regular basis. Please call ahead for information. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, like and follow us and drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. Bye-bye.